everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're going to do another quilt block base page slash layout because I'm going to show you two layouts at the end. If it's your first time, I take quilt block patterns and I make them into a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. I also show you sometimes how to adapt them to six by six and or smaller. And today my examples are gonna be a 12 by 12 and a six by six. So we will do that at the end. Um, if it's your first time, I'd be honored if you like and subscribe. And for all of you that are on this journey with me and have been for a while, thank you. I adore you. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow and I am so grateful. With that said, let's just have some fun. Okay, so the name of this quilt block probably has many different names. It depends on how long you've been quilting. And a lot of quilt blocks do that. They have, I've seen it called the sunflower. I've seen it called the barn flower. I've seen it called many different things, but it's pretty much the same. Um, some people will tweak it, some won't. This is, I'm just going to call it the flower. So because of that, I'm not gonna put a picture up here because everyone does it different and I don't want you to look it up later and think that I'm lying to you because I'm not. That's kind of just like we all interpret things different on layouts and sketches. It's the same thing with quilts. People take quilt patterns and they make them their own. Not wrong in any way. You guys know how I feel about that. Do what's best for you. So instead, I am gonna go back to the way I started. I'm gonna show you how to do it and then I will show you my examples of how to use them because I don't want you making these pages with your scraps of paper and then never using them. No, no, no. I want you to see that they can be used. I do use them and they are gorgeous. Well, I like my layouts. I don't know if anyone else does, but I do and you can do yours your way. That's okay too. All right, so we are going to start with a three by three block. And um, all of the, because sometimes I forget to say things. I will put everything in the description, all of the measurements, just in case I forget to say something, um, along with the entire playlist. So if you wanna see all the other videos where I made um, quilt blocks into scrapbook layouts, definitely click on that description and you will see the playlist link and um, anything else I talk about because you never know I start gabbing. I try to do that anyway. All right, so because we the base of them are three by threes, I am going to measure three in and three up because we are going to start the center of our flower. And don't forget at the end of this series, I am going to give away all of the example pages. So that should be fun. Well, half of them, because I already gave away half. So I think this will be like, what will it be? I think video, hmm, I think it will be video um, 10, I do believe. All right, which means we only have two left and I have one request and I have one that I'm going to do. But if you wanna see a certain quilt pattern, I will do my best and I will do one down the road. It just won't be on a schedule. <laughs> Right now, I'm trying to do one a week. All right, so like I said, we're going to measure three over and three up. Now, I had already marked it because I start gabbing and I don't pay attention, but I've shown you guys before, if you have a grid, lay it out, a mat, and measure over and up. So you're gonna start with your center, which is a three by three. Measure this, be careful, use a ruler or a T-square. If you don't, there is a possibility, right? that you are going to have a crooked um, center, which means all the petals all the way around it are gonna be crooked too, okay? So do your best, take the time to cut, take the time to measure. Once you line up this first one, easy peasy, seriously easy. Okay, so the center is going to be four three by three blocks. Remember to push on the edge, line it up, put it down. Now watch, I'm gonna say all that. And because I'm talking and not paying attention, this is textured, so I'm trying to make sure I get the right side. Um, I'm not gonna line mine up. <laughs> All right, so then you're gonna need four of whatever color you want to be your center of your flower. Now I am going to do a sunflower, so I picked brown. You'll see in my example, I did coral and pink. So it doesn't matter, whatever you like. Um, I will tell you, pattern papers on the petals are pretty, pretty, pretty. 
I suggest using a solid in the center. You don't have to, but two patterns right next to each other are not as pleasing to the eye in my experience. That does not mean it's a rule. It just means that's my advice, okay? So I'm going to take my yellow um, petals. You have big petals and little petals in this, so it gets a little more confusing, but not horrible. It's nothing you can't manage. This is also, look, a three by three square that all I have done is cut it in half. Remember, line up these corners and make sure that you're cutting as straight as you possibly can. All right, so we're gonna go all the way around just like this, all the way. And you guys, we've done this before, right? That's the thing with quilt. I told you, once you start doing it, you'll see patterns that you never even noticed before. And a lot of them have the same base. One of the stars that we did had this exact same base. The only difference was there was only one square and not four, okay? The four just makes it a little more pronounced. Now, I do also suggest that you temporarily put this down. One, in case you have to move it. Two, what if you want to tuck something in? It is still going to be a scrapbook page, so I do suggest that. And you'll see our edges. Sometimes they go a little over. We'll just trim that up at the end and make it look beautiful. Beautiful. That's that's why I like paper better than fabric, because once you sew it, if it's off, you gotta rip out the whole seam. <laughs> it's too much drama for me. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day and are ready for a great weekend. See, now you wanna know why this is probably this way. Either I cut this one short or I wasn't exact on that diagonal. Again, it's not the end of the world. We'll just trim it up before you use it. And who knows, you may decide to back the layout. Again, that's why I like paper and I don't like dealing with the fabric part because <laughs> it stresses me out. I like things to look, at least look like they're right. Okay, we'll do this one and this one. Now, once we have all of these, the next block is also a three by three, but, and I'm gonna show you, Okay, three by three. Hopefully that's straight. Um, so then the next one is also a three by three, but instead of cutting it in half once, right? Oh my goodness, what did I do? We cut it in half twice. <laughs> I can't even think. So you're gonna cut it this, and then when you get this piece, you're gonna cut it down the center. I should probably just do one. Should I do one real quick? Oh, what's it gonna matter? Might as well, right? Let me got, grab a piece of scrap. I put everything away. That's what I get for putting stuff away. Um, we'll just use this. Oh, I hate to cut that up. Do I have a smaller one? Oh, look, I do, I do. Maybe I don't. Oh, okay, we'll just use this. It's a triangle, it's not the right size, but we'll use that. So I, I'm going to show you, cause I don't, I don't wanna make you confused, all right? So once you cut, this would be a square, right? Half and half. You cut it into a triangle. Then you're going to line it up, your thing, right here on the very tip and make sure it's on that tip and you're gonna cut it in half again. And that'll give you four out of each square, okay? So then we're going to take those and we're going to put them here, okay? And we're gonna go all the way around. It's going to give depth to our flower. I'm gonna push this up a little so that I don't get any ink because you will notice that I inked all of these pieces. And I did that because it gives it dimension and because it's a sunflower. I also did it on my example though. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do all the way around. Okay, you can flip it if you want. You can choose not to, that's okay too. This is definitely a fun one to do if you have like a sunflower field where I lived in Colorado, they, I didn't know this, but Colorado makes the most sunflower seeds of any state in the United States. I learned that while living there. And I used to do photos in the sunflower fields. So I have lots of photos I could use this with. I should grab, do another one of these cause this one will be in the giveaway box, but I should um, make one. I have some of Jilly Jo. She has little buns in her hair. She looks pretty cute when she still let me do her hair, you know, she's a teenager now. 
She don't want me anywhere near her hair. I'm lucky if I tell her to brush her hair if I don't get an attitude. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're going to do one more. And I'm sure you can do whatever you like with this. Again, no wrong way. No wrong way. Oops. There we go. All right. Then you are going to take, so at this point, you've got four three by threes for the center of a solid. Then you have cut six of the um, three by threes for the petals. So you're gonna do three by three cut in half once. This would be one, two, three, four, right? And then you are going to cut the half in half and that would be five and six, okay? For your petals is what I'm calling them to help you um, see that. Now, in the description, I will write yellow, brown, green so you can watch the video and know that. Now, you're going to take a two by two square. Let me make sure I have this right. Square, green, green, green. Yep, two inch square. And you're going to cut it in half twice. So cut the square in half, then cut that triangle in half. And that is going to be the inside right here. Okay. We're gonna do that on each block. Starting to look like a flower. And this one. I don't know if any of you, I'm pretty excited because after I do this video, I am going to do a unboxing of a cherry on top. I got the grab bag, so I'm excited about that. Do that next. We will see what I got together. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over because this one's sticking out just a hair, as is that one. And just take my scissors. Okay, make sure I got it. It's kind of driving me crazy there. Oops. Oh my goodness, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna put some green leaves. So I just took a green and there's a leaf. And here's a leaf. And right here is a leaf. You get a leaf, you get a leaf. We all get leaves. <laughs> and there is a sunflower block, just like that. Isn't that pretty? So you could do a lot of different things. You could omit the leaves and you could put three by three photos here. You could put a photo and a title here, totally okay, which is what I did. I did a photo and a cluster. I'll show you that here in a minute. You could do four photos. You could, you could replace the center with a photo grid easily. You could do four photos here and then four photos here and get eight photos on the layout. That's when I think a um, pattern paper for your petals would be really good. That's just my opinion. So now let me show you, this will be in the giveaway box. Let me show you my example of the 12 by 12. So here is my example. You'll see that I did coral and I did pink and then I inked around the edges. And this is little Jilly with her new puppy. This was before he cracked her head open and she had stitches. <laughs> if you've seen me a while back, I did that. Oops, I did that layout, sorry about that. Um, so I just simply put the photo and I almost tilted it, but I decided to go this way and then I did a journaling block and then just a whole bunch of stickers that I needed to use up to be honest that were on a spring, um, spring sticker sheet. But I made this a two page layout because I really, really liked it. And I wanted to get all of the photos, not just this one. So let me scoot this over to the edge here and I'm gonna show you my six by six example. So here is my six by six example. I just made two six by six blocks. I made Jilly the center of the um, flower and then I just did a grid underneath with some paper. That's all I did. Um, lots and lots and lots of fun. These are three by three blocks. Six by six are one and a half by one and a half. The only hard measurement, and it's really not hard, is, oh, I forgot a leaf. Oh or it fell off, 
I gotta, I gotta make a leaf. Mayday, mayday. <gasps> I bet I know where it is. I bet, because I had this over here. I bet it's underneath here. I bet it is. It is, it is. See, I told you. <laughs> okay. <sighs> that got a little hairy. I'm gonna have to glue that one so it stays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it misappeared. It misappeared. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Okay, so you can do them like this. I love to do flower blocks like this. Um, I've even done them smaller. Um, and I know I was saying this is one and a half by one and a half. Oh, the hard measure. It'll come to me. If I keep talking, it comes. It'll come. <laughs> These are three quarters by three quarters of an inch. So 0.75, three quarters, whatever you want to call it. And really, you can eyeball it if you want to. I don't suggest that, but you can. Once you get used to it, you could. But um, for now, I, I would suggest you measure it all. But that that's that's it. That's the block. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, I don't I don't know. I'm just I'm excited about my cherry on top box. I think I'm just. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much. And I hope you have a blessed, blessed day, blessed weekend. I'll see you guys later. Bye.